The Mark with the Mouth gets his third standalone movie, and we just can't wait to see it. Get ready for Deadpool 3, because it is going to be messy, and according to Ryan Reynolds, it will go in a completely different way. Thus, changes are bound to happen. Changes, which might have a much larger impact than you think. Changes that could change everything, not only for him, but the entire MCU, now that we know he is definitely joining. The Rocky Road Ever since Disney's acquisition of Fox happened, they also got the control of Deadpool, which came with many problems, especially of just what Deadpool 3 should be at Disney, an infighting that grew out of control very quickly. This was mainly because Disney never made a superhero movie like a Deadpool one, and no one was eager to do so. No one wanted to pull that trigger, afraid of what might happen. The first one to speak out about what Disney and Marvel are planning to do with Deadpool was the creator of him, Robert Leefield, at first indicating that they are not going to make Deadpool 3, which was the easiest answer at first. However, fans were quick to respond and say that Leefield is not involved in the production and that he is just speculating, not knowing what he is talking about. Leefield also added that he doesn't like what Disney is doing with the character, and instead, he would have liked to see Ryan Reynolds to be Green Lantern again, liking the latter option more. The reason behind all this? Wanting for Ryan to bail on the whole thing before they ruin his character. He thinks that Disney and Marvel will let the whole franchise die, adding that no one would be excited about hearing that the movie will be released in four years. However, Reynolds was patient and optimistic enough, and when the news finally came of his third movie renewal, as he said it, he stopped feeling like an outsider. So guys, you can clearly see how many changes happen outside of the movie itself, only with the acquisition of Deadpool from the side of Disney. Who are you? I'm Batman. Ryan Reynolds on Deadpool 3 Let us start you off that, according to Ryan Reynolds, the lead role in the movie says that this movie will go in a completely different direction when compared to the previous ones, and we think it is understandable now that the whole franchise is under different management. And knowing that he has been playing the character for more than a decade, ever since his first appearance in X-Men Origins Wolverine, these are some strong words for what is coming next. However, the real thing happened when he first got a standalone movie in 2016 with Deadpool. It was this movie that made Reynolds put his personal stamp on the foul-mouthed, fast-healing superhero with a heart of gold. Since then, reprising his role in 2018's Deadpool 2 and the 2019's Once Upon a Deadpool. Despite the critical and box office success, the Deadpool movies came to face an uncertain future that lasted for a much longer period than intended leaving the whole Deadpool situation, together with the X-Force spinoff, in a very weird position. We still don't know what will happen with Deadpool 3, but it is always encouraging to see Reynolds wanting to mix things up, right? Deadpool 2 did not receive the love like the first movie, despite its success overall. One of the main reasons were the rehashed jokes from its predecessors and the dubious storytelling choices. Thus, as things are looking right now, with the new management and the new crew behind the whole project, we are bound to have many changes occur for the threequel, taking all the defects from the past and straying as further away as possible for the next one. New Writers and New Director while we are at the crew side of things, the people we don't see on the big screen but play a huge part in the movie, of course, we should also say that the Deadpool 3 is happening with almost an entirely new creative team. The first two movies were written by Paul Wernick and Thet Reese, but they are not returning for the sequel. Instead, the Molly New sisters, Wendy and Lizzie, Bob's Burgers writers, are taking over hired to pin the script for the next project about one of the most interesting characters in the entire Marvel Universe. Another change that is happening with Deadpool 3 is that even though Reynolds worked on the previous movie, now he will take a step back and just oversee the whole script, leaving more room for something new, more changes to be made in the right direction. As for the director's chair, it has been taken by David Leach, taking the helm of the whole process. You might think that these changes are not a big deal at first, 
But when you take a look at a bigger picture, you will notice that one change behind the scenes can cause many changes happening in a chain reaction on the big screen. When you pull the trigger, that gun is amazing. Will Deadpool 3 be in the MCU? And finally, we have the most interesting question about the third movie. Will Deadpool be a part of the MCU? To start off, Deadpool will maintain the one thing that singles him out from all the other movies from the MCU, and that is the R rating of the movie, marking the first movie from Marvel Studios to be of that rating in the MCU. One of the biggest things should go to the fourth wall breaking tendencies of Deadpool. Not making it that difficult to explain the continuity side of things, which brings us to the most important answer, and that is yes. Deadpool 3 has been confirmed to be a part of the MCU. In an interview with Collider, Feige revealed that this very different type of character is indeed joining the MCU proper. This is huge news, and even though the movie will take a while, maybe two or three years as of today, it is easily one of the biggest changes to ever happen with the franchise, and one that would invoke many other things to change, not only for the mark with a mouth, but also for the entire MCU. Nevertheless, one of the most interesting things will definitely be the fact and how his connection to the MCU will be as a whole, and how he will confront the other long-standing MCU characters. Whatever the case may be, we are in for a wild ride. And is here. Tone down. Being taken over by another company, even if it is a big one in the likes of Disney, does not always mean that everything will be better. We can clearly see the confrontations about it even by the acquisition itself, and everything that was happening over the course of it, and after the dust had settled. As for the third movie, a supposed change is that the movie itself will be toned down, and the Merc we have come to know and love over the first two movies may not resemble the one we will see in the future. However, this may not be a bad thing entirely. We are all aware that the decision by Reynolds and the Deadpool creators to lean headlong into the comics' churlish vulgarities is a big part of who the character is and what the franchise has set itself to be, wanting to distinguish itself from every other superhero movie. Some changes would have to happen in order for Deadpool to join the MCU. There are a lot of changes made already and by the looks of things, many other are bound to happen. However, we are certain that even though some of the best parts might get changed about the character and the franchise itself, we should also be able to enjoy the third installment of the franchise as part of the MCU, now that he has been officially confirmed to join, bringing something new to the table, a whole new dynamic, which we have not seen so far from Marvel Studios, a move that will definitely keep us eager to know more with every minute past. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what change do you think will be the biggest of them all and why? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.